4, which is entitled Raising the Formal School Start Age. And to move the resolution, I would call on Tony Giuliano, the Policy Development Convener, and Tony will be followed by Councillor Derek Gunn of Dunfermline Central Branch to second. Welcome, Tony. Thank you, conference. It's brilliant to see you after three years uh, back here in person. Scotland's children are the foundation on which our future is built. And yet the UK is one of the few countries in the world that sends four and five-year-olds to formal education. In classrooms, sat behind desks and assessed. We've come to accept that as the norm. Conference, it is not the norm. It's a Westminster policy that dates back to the 1870s. Victorian politicians who chose an early school start so that children's mothers could provide cheap labour in factories. A policy that was never rooted in what's right for children, but on the narrow economic needs of the time. But delegates, so much has changed. We now live in a fast-paced digital age with all the pressures that come with it. Our education system cannot simply exist to build a workforce, but healthy, thriving children too. And the research is clear. Four and five-year-olds are not developmentally ready to face the pressures and the structures of the formal school system. An early school start does not boost attainment. It does not make us more competitive, but it can lead to social, emotional and mental health problems. Delegates, a third of all pupils in Scotland have additional support needs. Child mental health referrals are up year on year. That's not sustainable. Conference, I've worked in mental health. I've seen the look of desperation on parents' faces whose kids are struggling. For children to grow up confident and resilient, they need an abundance of active social play in their early years. If you're a four-year-old or five-year-old in Finland or Denmark, countries that top the charts in education, you'll be in kindergarten. You won't be pushed to meet age-related benchmarks. Your local authority won't demand data from teachers on your academic progress. You'll be supported to learn based on your own stage of development. You'll be immersed in music, stories, art and songs. You'll spend a large part of your day outdoors, learning through play. Activities that are essential in developing language, self-regulation and interaction skills. While active, creative play develops the problem-solving skills they need for maths and science. Delegates, if kindergarten stage is central in the best education systems in the world, then why not Scotland? Conference. As the Cabinet Secretary for Education has talked about already this morning, our SNP government has made huge strides in early years since 2007, particularly on, on um, the expansion of early childhoods to 1140 hours. I'm now asking you to complete the jigsaw, the missing puzzle piece that will make a huge difference to children and their families. I'm asking you today to bring Scotland in line with the rest of Europe and vote for the creation of a funded universal kindergarten stage for all three to six year olds. It will mean that every child in Scotland, not just some, will have access to three years of quality funded preschool education, followed by six years of formal primary education. Delegates, it won't be a silver bullet, but a national kindergarten stage will give children blighted by poverty and trauma a fighting chance, because make no mistake, it's the poorest kids who lose out the most right now. If we want to narrow the attainment gap, the answer doesn't lie in piling on academic pressure from day one. It lies in nurture, well-being and tackling inequalities head on. <laughs> Conference, it's time to heed the international evidence. It's time to listen to parents, teachers and experts. Our Westminster made school star age is past its sell-by date. We are a modern European nation, unapologetic about our ambition. Scotland's success depends on the welfare of its children. So let's rise to the occasion today 
and truly make Scotland the best place in the world to grow up. Please pass the resolution.